here. Third and fourth. Third and fourth, I would probably say, uh, I like Lamar Jackson game right now, man. Baltimore. Jackson to Jackson. You know, I hear some booze, but I mean, you know, it's, it's, it's all love. I, I like to support the young fella. Yo, what's good, YouTube, man? It's Gabe with the Young Fan TV, man. Back at you with another video. Uh, like the content of this video, go ahead and smash that like button. Like the content of this channel, go ahead and hit subscribe, okay? Uh, so the Ravens have made a move with wide receiver. <laughs> they have signed uh, Deshaun Jackson. Um, I didn't plan on doing a video today. I really didn't. Uh, but, you know, the Ravens make a move, so we're going to talk about it, okay? Um, Deshaun Jackpot Jackson is now a Baltimore Raven. Um, it's a move that was, if you've been a fan of the Ravens for any amount of time, that was clearly obvious that they were going to do something like this. Uh, a move where it's kind of like, if you got a little kid, right, and you want to um, make them be quiet, you know, you just give them something. You know, it might not have been what they asked for, but you just gave them something, right? And that's what the Ravens kind of did right here, right? Fan base has unrest about the wide receivers, whatever. They said, okay, okay, we'll get a wide receiver. Oh, fans, oh, can it be DJ Moore? Can it be this guy? No, we'll get to Sean Jackson, all right? Now, usually on these breakdowns of the sound, what I do is I, I tell you about the player, who they are, where they come from, you know, what's their career been like. So, um, we're not going to do this any differently. Deshaun Jackson, uh, Baltimore Raven, 5'10", 175, uh, drafted in 2008. Uh, second team All-Pro, 09, three-time Pro Bowler, uh, two-time, oh, that's, that's his college accolades, two-time first-team All-American at Cal. Um, he is the NFL record holder for 60-plus yard touchdowns with 26, and he's tied for the... Uh, uh, record for 80 yard plus touchdowns with five big play threat explosive wide receiver um, a guy that throughout his career has caught 600 passes 11,000 yards and 58 touchdowns he uh, back in his um in his heyday <laughs> he was also a pretty gifted return man as well I think he's one of the first players to make it at a pro bowl as a returner and as a wide receiver he made it as both before so um, he has some skills there. Obviously, that's not what he's going to do for the Ravens, especially not right now at his age. That's not what's going to happen. But um, that's who Deshaun Jackson is. His best season, 2013, in terms of yards, he had 1,332 yards, um, nine catches, 80, sorry, nine touchdowns, 82 catches for 16 yards a catch. Um, he's had seasons of 21 yards a catch, 22, 22 and a half yards a catch. 19 yards a catch, 18 yards a catch. So to go on and on and on, he's been a guy that's broken the top of the defense. According to the numbers, right, um, Deshaun Jackson, you can make an argument, is the greatest deep threat in NFL history. He has the records. He has the numbers to back it up, things like that. And obviously you can go for Randy Moss, you know, Calvin Johnson, you know, guys like that. But the numbers go with, oh, Tyree Kill too, but the numbers go with uh, Deshaun Jackson. And he's now a Baltimore Raven, all right? Now, what does this mean for the team? Um, not much. Not much. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be very honest with you. Though These numbers are great. I love everything about Deshaun Jackson's career. Um, I love everything about Deshaun Jackson, period, right? But he's 35 years old. Now, there was a clip of the I Am Athlete interview where he said that it was three teams he wanted to play for. Uh, I'll, probably put the, I'll probably put the clip in there. Um, and the Ravens were on the list. All right. I believe it was return home to, you know, well, home. You know, you love the Eagles, uh, Packers and then the Ravens, number three. That was the that was the list. And apparently, you know, the Ravens said, hey, look, you serious? You want to be a Raven? Come on down. Now, once the, the video, not, not not the video, excuse me, but once he put on IG Live that he was landed in Baltimore, it was pretty much a done deal. You knew the Ravens were going to sign him. It is what it is. This is a lateral move. This doesn't really change anything to me. But I will say this, all right? Deshaun Jackson, even at age 35, does bring a different threat to this offense that hasn't been there. A straight speed burner vertical wide receiver. Yes, he's 35, but yes, he can still do it, okay? As of just last year, if I can get this to go right, there we go. Um... Last year, he had 20 catches for 454 yards, 23 yards of catch, and two touchdowns. Uh, he played on several teams last year. Uh, I believe he played on the – I know he played on the Rams for sure. He had a couple good games versus the Buccaneers uh, versus, uh, for the Rams, or one good game, really. 
And, um, you know, he scored, scored a couple of long touchdowns. Then he went to the Raiders. Um, and he scored a couple long touchdowns for them as well. So, not a couple, but a long touchdown for the Raiders as well. Because he only had two last year. So, he's still doing it. All right? It's not like he stopped making the big plays. It's not like he's gotten much slower. You know, he's probably still not. He's not the same guy he was coming out of California. But he's still a threat. When he's on the field, you have to respect it. Now, the only thing that that's going to work against him in, in this Ravens offense is the fact that if Deshaun Jackson's on the field, it's probably going to be a pass play, and that's probably a tell for the defense, right? Because Deshaun Jackson, like I said, 5'10", buck 75, buck 80. He probably still weighs around on that. Um, he's not going to be blocking very much. You know, he, he, he wasn't brought here to push guys back. So if he's on the field, it's probably going to be a pass, which kind of hurts his, you know, play action deep playability. Hopefully, that means Greg Roman can actually scheme some things up where, hey, Deshaun Jackson is on the field, but we're going to run the ball a couple times. Set up that play action, set up that bomb for Lamar Jackson and hit him over the top. Um, that's the progression. That's the thing that has to happen. That's the thing that has to be that has to be done for this move to even make sense. Um, for the Ravens. It's kind of been what they've done since their inception, right? A lot of people are going to say, Eric DeCosti, you suck. Eric DeCosti, you're not good. And you can have that opinion. I'm not, I'm not here to argue any different. But what I would tell you this is that this is what the Ravens have always done. If Ozzie Newsom was a GM, they probably would have still signed um, Deshaun Jackson. It's what they do. It's uh, a Band-Aid fix for a much bigger problem, a problem that's been with this team since Joe Flacco was the quarterback and, and before that. Uh, but Deshaun Jackson is here. He's a Raven. Uh, you know, he scored a touchdown. I'm going to support him. Hey, I, I don't hate on the team. Never. Never hate on the team. I just, I just be honest and I be real about what's happening. Could they have gotten somebody else? Could they have tried to trade for, I mentioned him earlier, DJ Moore? Yeah, they could have tried. Maybe it didn't go their way. Maybe they didn't call at all. I don't know. Right? The Panthers let go of Robbie Anderson for a bag of chips. You know, I think it was a 2024 sixth round pick and a 2025 seventh round pick. All you had to do was cover his salary, and his cap hit was only, uh, I believe, $690,000. So under a million-dollar cap hit, the Ravens had plenty of space to get that on the roster, right? They chose not to do that, okay? And you could say that's probably because of Robbie Anderson's fiery temper, and the reason that he even um, is on the Cardinals now is because he blew up on the sideline at his coaches on the Panthers, Steve Wilkes, and I believe the last of coach name is like Joe Daly. So that kind of personality... They reserve that for the defense. They don't really, they don't really see that in offensive guys, especially the wide receiver position. They haven't had a wide receiver that I would think legitimately getting a coach face probably since a guy like Anquan Bolden. Right, that's probably been the last kind of guy that will probably do something like that. Um, so the Ravens are where they are, right? This wide receiver core now has Deshaun Jackson, Demarcus Robinson, um, Devin Duvernay, and hopefully pretty soon they will have Rashad Bateman back. Uh, tomorrow I'll do the injury report. And, you know, we'll see what the Rashad Bateman status is. We'll see what he's listed at. Harbaugh keeps saying that he's close. We don't know what close means. We got to get more exact when it comes to that. But that's the news, man. Deshaun Jackson, supreme deep threat, uh, perennial touchdown scorer. 58 touchdowns is nothing to sneeze at. 11, 30, uh, sorry, 11,000 yards is nothing to sneeze at. Over 600 catches is nothing to sneeze at. But he is 35 years old. How much does he have left? How much can he give this team? And especially probably because it's going to be in a limited capacity. These are questions that the Ravens have to answer. These are questions Greg Roman has to answer. And um, <laughs> the Ravens have given us something. You know, we can't say they didn't try. They uh, they tried. And they got Deshaun Jackson. Uh, the dreams of any other wide receiver, I would say, are probably done. Um, this is going to be your Ravens receiving core going forward. To the regular, into the regular season and into the playoffs if the Ravens were to make it. Um, this is your wide receiving core. This is it. This is this is what it's going to be unless we get some, you know, some more injuries and they have to sign somebody else. You know, we'll see who else they can pull up. Uh, maybe Terrell Owens wants to come back or something like that. You know what I mean? Give him a shot. So that is the, that's the breakdown of Deshaun Jackson. Great player in his past. Um, deep threat now. And maybe he can still do, do something for the ball for Ravens. Let me know your thoughts in the comments of the signing. And, um, you know, when you see out there on that field, hopefully he's uh, he's burning defender still, right? All right, it's your boy Gabriel. This is on the Fan TV. I'm out.